Are you in the process of undergoing an in vitro fertilization procedure, IVF, or a surrogacy contract? If so, it's important for you to have an attorney who is on your side to look over those documents before you sign them. My name is Laura Hurd and I'm an attorney in San Antonio, Texas. I'm seeing a lot of uh, people getting divorced and they don't know what to do with those frozen embryos. Now, I know right now you're not thinking about divorce, it's not even entering your mind, but when those embryos are in a frozen state and later on down the road something happens and a divorce becomes a possibility have you even thought about who gets the embryos who's going to continue to pay for the storage or whether y'all will agree to put up the embryos for adoption